Vancouver, Washington. I'm coming from Hamburg, in the west of Germany. We're Harry and Vernon Caladine from Burbank, California. We've danced in all 50 states, all the provinces of Canada, and 45 foreign countries. And they tell us that we're the only couple who have ever danced all around the world. I think it's just a fantastic thing. It's so beautiful. Anybody that's not here doesn't know what they're missing. Well, now, two, four, square, two, four, and two, Yes, in 1976, the National returned to Southern California where it all began 25 years ago. Kicking off the activities was a trail's end dance at the very hall in Riverside where the first convention had taken place in 1952. Carl and Vereen Anderson, general chairman for that first convention, were present to enjoy the festivities and no doubt to reflect on the tremendous growth in the popularity of square dancing over the last quarter century. One of the callers who returned to Riverside was Morris Savada. His showmanship delighted the dancers as much now as it had at the first national. The square dance movement has grown tremendously in recent years. Carl Anderson believes that the time is right for yet more growth. Well, there's some of us in uh, leadership roles that feel that uh, the square dance activity is, is on the verge of a, a real resurgence again. So we, we feel that it's, uh, the growth is there. The very fact that uh, square dancing is part of the heritage of uh, America, of the United States, uh, born uh, with the very birth of the country and uh, developing through the many years of the development of the country itself, uh, lends itself to the bicentennial. As one of the first events to be officially recognized by the American Revolution Bicentennial Administration, the convention featured a pageant depicting American square dancing through the years, a colorful journey in time which began with our nation's birth when Americans were dancing a minuet. settlers moved west, they took their dances with them to the Appalachian Mountains of Kentucky. The Mormons on the trail to Utah. The plantations of the old South. The play parties of the Oklahoma Territory and the Grange dances of the farmers' carol. Modern square dancing preserves styles like the Abilene Lift of Texas, the smooth style of the American Southwest, and the court dances of old California. Henry Ford worked to preserve America's dance heritage in the ballrooms of his era.
dances like the clod dance of the Blue Ridge Mountains, we have a glimpse of a way of life that has endured down through the years. Founded by the late Lloyd Shaw, the Cheyenne Mountain Dancers kept alive the cowboy dances of the West and stimulated interest in square dancing everywhere they appeared. Their dance exhibitions, highlighted by many spectacular aerial figures, thrilled audiences throughout the United States and overseas as well. The Cheyenne Mountain Dancers were just one of the many legacies of Dr. Lloyd Shaw, the father of modern square dancing. It was altogether fitting that this tribute to the history of square dancing was dedicated to Dr. Shaw's widow, Dorothy Stott Shaw. Afterwards, Mrs. Shaw talked about the work of her husband and how it all started. And of course it started with the beginning of man and has gone and come and gone again. But the thing that we are doing now started in a little school system in Colorado Springs, suburban Colorado Springs. And my husband started it from recognition of a great need for children to dance. But he did it from the top down. He took the senior high school students first, and he moved down to the little ones which gave a great deal of, of leeway and prestige <laughs> to everybody. And presently, he had the whole community dancing. And presently, he had the whole state dancing. <laughs> and presently, he had the whole country dancing. And it would take, you mu take much too long to tell you <laughs> how long that took and how it happened. But he was one of those great pivotal points that comes up in history every now and then, who picks up a great folk art and restores it to the people. 
Following Dr. Shaw's example, planners of the convention provided a multitude of educational activities. In a series of seminars taught by Bob Ruff, beginners received college credit while learning basic calls, square dance history, and square dance etiquette. Pause for a second. This is called box the net. Three words, box the net. So with your partner, box the net. A one, two, three, four. You have exchange positions or just facing opposite way. The man always stays to the left, and the girl always ducks under the same way. Box the net again. In another seminar, more advanced students were taught the techniques of calling by Jack Murphy. Left dial a man, grand old right, and left you go, hand over hand, you meet your girly, then promenade, go round the ring. Okay, and he's getting both above and below it also, although he usually uses almost a chant there, staying right on that one note a good part of the time. Okay? Head couple stars. We are very, very proud to be here tonight representing the Lloyd Shaw Foundation. Kathy and Don Trummel discussed methods used in teaching square dancing to the mentally retarded. ...curriculum for elementary and secondary education, and we are very pleased to be a part of their program. Move a little more over to that way. Move, you know, and you have to move him. Let him know where he's supposed to be so that he knows. All in all, the convention offered over 200 hours of panels and seminars on subjects such as petticoat power of interest to the ladies. This is the thing that... I like to see when we're all through with the national convention is that we're all still friends because if you're not still friends it wasn't worth it. And it's kind of hard to talk in front of Olin because I feel like I'm going to give away all my secrets that he's never ever known before. You know. Another offered some pretty it's crazy ideas for the bad. after party. It really is. We have a lion trainer with it. She's not too sure about training Gnorts but she's working at it. Soy that girl. Put her on the right, go down and forward. Of particular interest to experienced dancers were workshops in contra and round dancing. Contra dancing has long been the basic New England country dance, but is rapidly spreading in popularity. Since Lloyd Shaw revived it in 1948, round dancing has become immensely popular. With steps familiar to ballroom dancers, round dancing makes an evening of dance sparkle with an agreeable change of pace. Part B, forward two. Rock recover through both two times. Tango draw. Forward two for the left pivot turn. Two up. Tango draw. Forward two slow ones now for the breakaway. Uh, to serve the needs of the caller, the convention to, uh, featured a panel chaired by callers Lee Helsel, Johnny LeClaire, and Bill point Peters. Point by point, exactly as you had, is a, is a uh, disadvantage. To the other people on the other side of the wall, that is symmetric choreography. If you call a command lady number one chain to the right, what happens is that this girl chains with that girl, but this girl does not. So what happens here did not happen there. That's unsymmetric choreography, and we don't deal with that. In a special caller's clinic, Dick Jones tackled the problems of styling. Just picture what the story of the, of the song is. Here's a guy who went down to Dallas, Texas. He's supposed to meet a girl down there. He got down in Dallas, and he's looking all over the place for that girl, and he can't find her. Now, how would he feel? Would he be, here I am, Dallas. You know, woman, where are you? Yoo -hoo. Would he be that way, or would he be inclined to be a little angry? Much of the gaiety and color of square dancing comes from the traditional square dance attire. At the 25th convention, exhibitors offered the latest fashions and accessories. Okay, I'm going to demonstrate how to put piping on a man's shirt without this stitching showing. At the Sew and Create Clinic, experts offered advice on every step of costume making. And sew so onto the seam line, sew your piping onto your yoke. Like so. Yeah. Clever designs were on display in the pattern room. 
where conventioneers could trace them to take home. Welcome to our world. Won't you come on in? Miracles, I guess, still happen. The work of the artists with needle and thread was highlighted by the spectacular Step fashion show, featuring the music of Lee Schmidt and Don Lee Ellis. This Lee beautiful event play. offered special guests, colorful floats, and of course, Welcome. a delightful parade of some of our nation's finest handiwork in square dance attire. Built with you in mind. And the door will open, seek, and you will find, as can you be given, the key to this world of mine, I'll be waiting here, with my arms unfurled, waiting just for you. Welcome to our world. There was even a prediction as to what Milady might be wearing to square dances of the future. Wow. The key to this world of mine, I'll be waiting here with my arms unfurled. The fashion show closed with the 25th anniversary float featuring Carl and Vereen Anderson. This beloved couple was justly saluted for their many years of work in behalf of Square Dance. But square dancing is not only a spectator sport. What about those who came to dance? Well, everyone had all the opportunities to dance he could want. With as many as 10 dance floors going at once, it's safe to say you could always find a happy group of dancers. At times, the dancing even spilled out onto the roof of the parking structure next door. There was every kind of square dancing for young and old and everyone in between. The youth hall was always the scene of lively heel kicking. Always a highlight whenever square dancers get together are dances by the exhibition groups who love to show off their fanciest steps. of the convention was an exhibition by the Maycroft Square Tappers of Michigan. These nimble-toed youngsters were chosen to represent American dancing in a forthcoming tour of the Soviet Union. Romantic 
enchanting Atlantic City. The traditional parade of states acknowledged the contributions of all 50 states. The parade of states tonight is led off by the California State Square Dance Council, Incorporated, Dell and Desi Weatherford, Presidents. Incidentally, at 5 p.m. tonight, there was 20,442 registered from the state of California. For a moment, the music reminded everyone to look forward to next year's convention in Atlantic City. For Atlantic City, next year's convention will be the result of thousands of hours of hard work which began three years ago. In turn, one of the most important duties this year was to select the site of the 1980 National Convention. This procedure allows each convention city a much needed four years of preparation time. As always, the executive committee extended an invitation for cities to submit bids, often supported by partisans in the audience. The executive committee, which continued its work through the convention, was faced with a tough decision. Finally, on closing night, the announcement was made. The losers and the winners of this award are taking the night train to Memphis. Throughout the convention, many special guests had come to pay tribute to this great American tradition. California's Lieutenant Governor Mervyn Dimely. Square dancing is one of the great American traditions. From colonial times, people have come together to socialize and dance as they spend their leisure time and pull together the family unit. In our bicentennial year, I come to think of no other activity that is so well founded in our history and our culture. Thank you for coming to California. Please come back. I promise when you come back to call the California 12. Thank you very much and God bless you. Recording star Charlie Pride sang at the presentation of the colors by the Marine Corps Mounted Color Guard. What so proudly we hail at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars Among the 16 We'd foreign like countries represented, a contingent past, from Japan came with a special gift for General also, Chairman Ken and Audrey Parker. Care. Gentlemen, I take care, lady. I'd like to give to you the happy court. There need not be any speeches, certainly square dancing forms hands around the world. We are indeed, indeed grateful for these expressions of kindness for, from far away Japan. We thank you so much. In this bicentennial year, a special congratulatory letter to the convention came from President Ford. The last hours of the convention were a time for old friends to say goodbye and for new friends to look forward to future meetings. For many, it was a time to rest but for Died in the Wool Square Dancers, it was time for the after party. And what an after party it was, an all night extravaganza at Disneyland. In addition to the varied attractions of the Magic Kingdom, many even found time for more square dancing. After all, the love of square dancing is what brought them all together in the first place. And a true enthusiast just can't stop dancing. That's what made the 25th convention and all the past conventions so successful. And that's what will ensure the success of future conventions. The joy people find in square dancing. Swing the corner, now two and four square through. Four hands around the girl, and I get to the corner, lady, do side of my gun, she's the winner. Hey, now swing through the cheap with two boys, run around the girl, tag the line.
turn a quarter to the left. Do a fair swing, moving around. I go in the middle, pass through. No sign of wicked ocean wave. I swing through to the two. I spin the top. And I run on it through. Turn the girl star through. I find through in the middle, square through. Three quarters round. I go out on it. Everybody do up to the middle with enthusiasm. Yeah. Circle up to the ground, I go, sir.